Let's start with what is a vignette. Essentially, it's a group of items placed on a table or surface in such a way that they look like they're meant to be there for style purposes rather than because someone hasn't tidied up today. Let's move on to a practical example of styling a basic vignette. So first up, got a few friends here to help me today. First we've got Chuckles, Lola, and Giggles. So what we've got going on here is something that most stylists agree on, which is that our eyes like to look at things in groups of odd numbers. So groups of three, five, seven. So we've got a basic group of three happening here. And although Eeyore would like to be involved, sorry Eeyore, you make it a group of four, it doesn't work. Oh. Next up, when you're styling a vignette, you should think about the theme of the objects that you're using. Here we're obviously going for a theme of toy dinosaurs, but you could use items from the beach, a collection of vases, perhaps some pretty lanterns if you've got an outdoor table you're styling. And here's Eeyore again. Sorry Eeyore, you don't fit with our theme of dinosaurs. Oh. Another thing to think about is colour. Here we're obviously using shades of purple and often what you want to do is try and tie the colour of your objects back to some other point in the room to give a sense of cohesion about your vignette. So in this case, for example, if we had a print on the wall that had purple in it, this would work well because the purple in the dinosaurs would tie in with the purple in the print. And here's Eeyore again. Oh, sorry Eeyore, you're grey, not purple. You don't fit. Oh. <laughs> Another thing that we've got going on here is some variation in height and size of the objects. Again, this gives the eye something to look at so that everything's not the same. Sometimes you can achieve that through height. So, for example, you could have three identical lanterns, but if they were three different heights or three different sizes, you'd still get that variation of size going on. Now, this time... Eeyore does actually work in this vignette because he's lower than the three dinosaurs, so you get that variation in height. Still mucks it up though, because there's four objects there now instead of three, which breaks the first rule, which was to style your items in groups of odd numbers. So you can either be an absolute rebel and go with that, sometimes the best thing about rules is breaking them, or you could just add another item to your vignette so that you had five objects instead. Here we go. We can all use a little more sparkle in our lives. Keep smiling.